Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and happy Festa of 2022, yes! Today I'm going to film my full photo card collection of JK. It will be in a tour style, but I will be putting uh, little timestamps down below. So if you just want to see a section of the collection, you can do that. Uh, if you're new to my channel, you should know that I am an OT7 stan and I do collect OT7, but for more rarer and strange items, I do focus on my bias of BTS, which is JK. Currently, I have four binders, so I'm going to start at this one and work my way back. Just little disclaimers at the start of this as well. Uh, please don't comment down below saying that I'm rich or anything. I'm definitely not. I did start collecting a couple of years ago, so most of this stuff was not bought at the price that they do go for currently. Because as we know, JK has become a very expensive member to collect. So yeah, I would, I would appreciate if those comments are not said down below. I do work very hard for my money and most of my income does go to this currently especially during the pandemic when there wasn't much to really to really do. So yeah, I expect this video to be quite long. So grab your drinks, grab your snacks and just enjoy watching me try to remember what everything is from. Uh, I'm sorry if I muck anything up, I'll try to do my best. But if I say anything wrong, please just comment it down below so that others know. If you have any questions, feel free to also leave that down below. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. It can be about where something's from or how much I paid for it or uh, where I got it from. I'm pretty open about everything. So yeah, go ahead and let's just get into it. Happy Festa. Yes, so exciting. Let's start with this one, baby. Everything that I use will also be linked down below, but first off we're going to start in Korean albums. Sorry about this little bit of a shadow down here, but it's the only way to stop the glare on this part of the binder. So I hope it's okay, but let's, let's go. So this is some fan art that I was gifted by my friend. And then we go into Korean album PCs. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Okay, so we have School Love Affair Hands In, School Love Affair Special Edition. This one is First Press from 2014. School Love Affair Hands Out, HYOH Part 1, Young Forever, Wings, Persona. Oh, Are You Late 2? This can come with the member's name on the back or the name of the album, Oh, Are You Late 2? This is the reprint of School Love Affair Special Edition. Dark and Wild, HYOH Part 2. The Dope or Young Forever PC. This one came as first press in this album. You Never Walk Alone, which is actually my favorite PC at JK, so precious. And then we go into the Love Yourself series. So we have Love Yourself Her, L, O, V, and E. Love Yourself Tear, Y, O, U, R. And Love Yourself Answer, S, E, L, and F. Then it is Map of the Soul Persona version 1, 2, 3, and 4, and Map of the Soul 7 version 1, 2, 3, and 4. And part of the Persona uh, broadcast, they gifted this out to the armies who attended it. It was a gift back to army, so it is kind of considered a broadcast, but it is a clear card of JK. It came with a QR code and just this little card on the back that tells you that it was a special gift given by JK on the day. Then we have BTS World. I put it here just because it kind of fit around these PCs as the Weverse pre-order for the actual like pack. You got this luggage tag and then we have the double-sided PC that came in the actual pack and then the game coupon. So there is a coupon on the back of this which is the pajama PC and then in the special edition of it they came out with an OT7 set of these which is hard and plastic. It's like a credit card. And then in some merch, there was a manager's tag. So it came in like a big bulky manager's tag. Then we move into the B era, which I am going to skip over these because they aren't in release order, kind of, <laughs> even though the first ones weren't really either. So we have B Deluxe and this card came in an OT7 set. And then they had the two lucky draws for that. They then came out with B Essential Edition, which had the Weverse pre-order, the MTU lucky draw and the Soundwave lucky draw. In that you could also pull a random PC and this card came in an OT7 set. And I've just realized that it's facing the wrong way. This one is just a double up of this. Then they had some more lucky draws for B Deluxe. This one came from Soundwave and this one came from MTU. And then in Japan, they had more lucky draws, which are actually hollow. If you 
can see them. These ones are just put in hollow sleeves. Uh, and this one came from Universal Music Store, which I'm now gonna call UMS. And then this one came from the Japan Fan Club or Japan FC. Moving on, we enter into the butter era where they had a lot of PCs as well. So the Weverse pre-order was this film strip. This was the message card given randomly in the album. UMS gave this out when they did the Japan release. And then this is the Hybe Lucky Draw given out at the Hybe Insight Museum. Also for the Japan release, you could get this card. And then this one is the Weverse pre-order card. This one came in butter peaches and this one came in butter cream. They had a butterfly event that was actually kind of hard to get into. It was like a raffle that was held and it was an event held at the Hype Insight Museum. So these two are actually unofficial PCs because they're really expensive and rare. So this is the butterfly event PC replica and this is the Butter 77 PC replica as I haven't hunted it down for a price that I would like to pay for it yet. One day though, one day, because I love that card. Then they also have Lucky Draws for that. So we have Power Station, MTU, and Soundwave. The Proof era has only just begun, so I've only got my pools so far. So there will be a Proof Weverse pre-order special gift, which has been announced to now be kind of like a clear film strip kind of thing with three different images. So it won't be going here. It'll be going in like a different pocket somewhere. Um, as far as I know, there is a Proof Universal sticker, and then this one is from the Proof Standard Edition. This is the postcard that you get in that of JK. And then there is also a postcard in the Compact Edition, which is the size of the Persona postcard. And it's double-sided, so cute. In the Proof Standard Edition, you get an OT7 set of these cards. That's why I have that one so far. But then there is also a random PC in the Standard Edition. In the Compact Edition, there is a random PC they also have a Weverse pre-order benefit PC. Japan Fan Club is going to have a hollow PC. At the Hybe exhibit, there is also going to be a lucky draw. And then they have also announced a Soundwave, MTU and Power Station lucky draw. The stamp means that I have the item secured. We then move into Japanese album, which I hope that my memory doesn't fail me because this is very <laughs> difficult to remember for me. So first up, we have No More Dream, Boy In Love, Danger, Wake Up, For You, The Kai and Nenka PC, which is actually quite rare. I Need You, I Need You, Christmas message. <laughs> I Need You, Yokohama venue. Run, Youth, Fake Love, Airplane Part 2, Lights, Boy With Love, Not In Love. And then Map the Soul 7, The Journey. This is the UMS pre-order. UMS random PC. The Weverse pre-order. Japan Fan Club PC, and then the PC that came in the regular edition. Oh, this one is where I struggle. I tried to do it so many times, but I couldn't do it in one take. So we have the Weverse pre-order benefit for BTS The Best. We have BTS The Best regular Blood, Sweat and Tears version. BTS The Best Japan Fan Club Mic, Rock, Mic Drop DNA Crystal Snow version. Universal Music Store Face Yourself version, Universal Music Store Fake Love Aeroplane Part 2 version, 7Net Edition Lights Boy with Love version, 7Net Edition Map of the Soul 7 The Journey version, BTS The Best Regular Costume A, and BTS The Best Japan Fan Club Costume B. <laughs> I was dreading doing that for like a year. <laughs> okay. So next up we have just the little cards that you could get in some stores in Japan if you ordered the album. They're not really worth anything and it's hard to tell which ones are official and not, but these are the ones that I've tracked down and I know are official. So they're just sitting there. And then they have the corresponding postcard with them. These are all like postcard material except for this one which is a printed photo and there is another version of this one. I just don't have it because I can't tell whether or not it's official what they're selling. Then we have the Danger album jacket, a little hip hop monster, which used to be their kind of version of BT21. Then down here we have the HMV Wake Up flyer, uh, the Run calendar that was also given out at HMV, the Run handshake card, so given out at an event, it was handed over by the members. Uh, For You had a handshake event as well, and it was also coinciding with the first Japan anniversary, which these photos are for. And then next to that, I have the second Japanese anniversary, and this was also given out at a store. I think it was Shibuya Marui. 
uh, for youth, Japan Fan Club had these pre-order cards. These are the three that just feature JK. There is also units that feature him, but I didn't collect it for them. Youth also had a handshake card. It was actually stamped by each of the members, so I tried to find one with the stamp that I liked. And he's just hanging out down there. For HMV, Youth also had a clear poster set that you could get in this envelope. At the back, and it just has his name in the middle. And in JK set, you got this group one, this unit one of uh, J Hope and Jimin, individual ones, and that was it. For the best of BTS, not to be confused with BTS the best, you got this IC card, which actually when you tap it on a machine, it glows uh, his signature on the front. And then this is the Korean version. This was a venue pre-order. This is Japanese version and venue pre-order. These were actually given in the albums themselves. The albums were quite long. Then we had the Mic Drop DNA Crystal Snow Clear File. And then it is album jackets. This is an IC sticker for Face Yourself. You put it on your travel card, so you just stick it on top. The Fake Love Aeroplane Part 2 album jacket. Uh, Lights Boy with Love album jacket. And Map of the Soul 7 album jacket given out for uh, 7 net. They also have these little like photo card kind of postcards. They're quite flimsy material, but you have blood, sweat and tears, mic drop DNA, crystal snow, fake love, airplane part two, and lights boy with love. And then corresponding to that is the flyers. So you have blood, sweat and tears, mic drop DNA, crystal snow, face yourself, airplane part two, and fake love, lights boy with love. And then down here, you actually have a different size postcard, which is kind of annoying. They didn't do the flyer for uh, Map of the Soul 7, The Journey. So this is, yeah, an extra, an extra card down here. And then for BTS The Best, they also gave out this general benefit postcard, which is very stunning. For BTS The Best, they also had some uh, merch and little pre-orders. So one of these is a Sutea benefit and one of them is just a general benefit I can't remember which one is which and then they also had some merch this is from the OT7 like merch packs the, the postcard packs yeah and then this was also given out at a store in Japan for B you could actually rip out part of the album so this is just JK's individual pages from that and then the little pre-order for the album as well uh, they also had these uh, postcards I think this one's JK's because he signed this one but then there's also sources that say that he took this image so I've just put both of them in there and they are from the deluxe version. Uh, these are also some more images from the deluxe version and then this was some more merch that they released for it. So this was from a pajama set and this one was from an eco bag and just some really nice units that are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, they also did some merch for butter so this was a standing photo you like stood it up and yeah it came with like some stand thing but i put it in here and then they also had a butter cardigan and then a 3d photo which i have put in down here there is also a butter line music store live photo which i have not acquired and i'm not sure whether or not i ever will because you can't really see him in it it's quite far away Next up is Taiwanese. So Taiwanese is only in the first press of the albums and they are basically just a bigger version of the photo cards that you could get. There is a Taiwanese Young Forever PC. It has shot up a lot in price and I do not own it. <laughs> this is from HYOH part one. Uh, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous card. And this is from You Never Walk Alone. Also one of my favorite PCs ever. And then they only have the Love Yourself Her versions of these. They did stop after Love Yourself Her, but we have Love Yourself Her, L, O, V, and E. I am missing O still, and I would like to collect it very, very soon because these are really, really pretty, and it's nice to see the images up close. Next up is DVD slash Blu-ray inclusions. This is the expensive part of the binder coming up. So, we have 2015 H Y BTS Live on stage. DVD PC, 2016 HYOH Epilogue BTS Live on Stage PC. This is the Blood, Sweat and Tears broadcast photo. It is the only broadcast photo that is smaller. So I put it in here to match with the memories of 2016 group PC. It's like the same concept. And then this is from the Wings concept book, which is also in the same concept. If you flip it down, it's like in the exact same outfit. And it didn't really have another place. So I just put it in here. 
there's so many cars. This is the tour DVD section. So we have Wings Tour DVD, Love Yourself Soul DVD, Love Yourself Soul Blu-ray, Love Yourself New York DVD, Love Yourself New York Blu-ray, Love Yourself Europe DVD, and Love Yourself Europe Blu-ray. These ones are just fillers, and if we get some PTD DVDs or Blu-rays, they will probably go in here. Next up is Memories. I have Memories of 2016 Group PC, Memories of 2017 Blu-ray, and Memories of 2017 DVD. Memories of 2018 DVD, Memories of 2018 Blu-ray, Memories of 2019 DVD, Memories of 2019 Blu-ray, and Memories of 2020 DVD, and Memories of 2020 Blu-ray. Yes, and I put the Blu-rays in the middle because how could you not? And there is the backs of them. Next up is Musters and Fan Meats. Musters are Korean, Fan Meats are Japanese. So this is third muster, third Fan Meat, third Fan Meat limited venue PC, fourth muster, fourth Fan Meat, fifth muster, fifth Fan Meat, and here is where the next one will go, which they actually didn't do a Fan Meat for uh, Subuju, which is the kind of latest uh, kind of muster, <laughs> but they are releasing a Blu-ray PC for it. And these, uh, normally the Blu-ray comes with like a live photo, but they're doing yeah a PC. So it'll be nice and fill out the page. Next up, this is a bit random to be put here, but I wanted it to be more in the front of my collection in the first binder. But this is the Map of the Soul 1 uh, items. And it does include DVDs and Blu-rays, but it also includes a photo book. So this is actually the PCs for the photo book. So this is if you ordered both photo books in the set, you've got this random PC in there. If you ordered just the clue version, you got this card and the root version, you got this card. But of course they were like random and I've put like hollow sleeves on them. You also got these in OT7 set in the books. So yeah, I got doubles of them just to fill out the page. And then for the actual DVD, there was this random PC and the Blu-ray had this random PC. And he looks so amazing. Yeah. Moving on to bigger items. So we have a HYOH 2016 epilogue Blu-ray postcard. The Wings Tour Blu-ray postcard. I'm going to have to read this one because it's quite long to say. But this is the Wings Tour 2017 BCS Live Trilogy Episode 3 in Japan Special Edition at Kaya Sera Dome pre-order clear file and then they also had an IC sticker that you put on your travel card. Also part of the Blu-ray for this was a bigger photo book which I just store at the back because it doesn't really fit. This is just JK's. You got this in an OT7 set as well and it is very very stunning. Pictures are very HD for it. Really nice Blu-ray to own if you like a copy of the Wings tour. Cutting off his head. And the little messages. Yeah, really nice book. Uh, as part of the Love Yourself tour, you got this random poster in the DVD. And then in the Blu-ray, there was this random photo book. So this was one of the first items that I ever purchased because I just, I love pink haired Koo. <laughs> And there isn't many items with him with the pink hair. So it was definitely high on my priority list to get this little book. It's short, but it's sweet. This is from Love Yourself Japan edition. This is the little Blu-ray postcard as well. Uh, Love Yourself Speak Yourself Japan also had a Blu-ray postcard. And then the Universal Music Store also had this as a pre-order gift. If you ordered it, it is literally just a lined book, but it's very thin and it fits nicely in these pockets. So you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> uh, Japan Fan Club had this as their pre-order gift, which came in an OT7 set. And then this one actually came in the Love Yourself, Speak Yourself Japan Edition DVD, not Blu-ray, and it came in an OT7 set. And he has longer hair and he looks so precious. That's the same as that postcard. Just 
and look at him. Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Nice. Uh, love yourself, speak yourself, Sao Paulo bookmark from the DVD. Love yourself, speak yourself, London bookmark from the DVD. And then this is the One Tour. The One Tour was completely online, not in person, during COVID. So the Blu-ray came with this postcard. The DVD came with this hollow ticket that came in OT7. Both of these were OT7. And then this came in the uh, concept book in an OT7 set if you ordered both. So if you ordered the set, you got this postcard as well. In the third muster Blu-ray, you got this standee uh, randomly. Fifth muster Blu-ray had this live photo fifth fan meeting and this live photo as well. In Memories of 2019, this came in an OT7 set in the Blu-ray. In Memories of 2020, this also came in the Blu-ray in an OT7 set. Uh, in Memories of 2019, there was an accordion and this is just JK's like, picture out of it and a random uh, OT7 shot that I love. In the newest Subudu DVD, there will be a hollow postcard uh, in an OT7 set. And then in the Blu-ray, there will be a photo. Yes, in an OT7 set, I think. That one hasn't been released yet. Okay, the big boy, the big boy broadcast. So broadcasts are given out only at broadcast events. So when they do a show, they hand this out in OT7 sets to the people who attend it. First up, we have the most rarest and expensive card in my collection, which is Jungkook's War of Hormone broadcast, then Dope. I need you will go here if I ever find it for a good price and then run. And these ones have little messages on the back. This one is discolored because of its age and probably just exposure to air. Uh, we have fire, spring day, DNA and DNA. So there were two for DNA because there were two days. So yeah, the two DNA ones. They've slid a little bit. Let me fix it up. Then you have Fake Love, Idol, and Persona. Persona also had two days. And then On. And there are quite limited sets of On just because it happened during COVID. So not many of these are around, but you have the cool version and the cute version. <laughs> and then there has been announced a proof broadcast, which will go here if I eventually find it for a good price again. And I did keep this OT7 broadcast as well, just in case I ever wanted to OT7. <laughs> Let's not... uh. Think about that though. Next up is the Japanese section. So these are basically Japanese fan club renewal cards. So I don't know whether or not they really have anything uh, name related to them, but we have the first renewal, second, third is undercover mission themed, fourth, fifth I'm missing as well, which is him crouching, sixth and seventh, which I think this one's called the wings one. I can't, yeah, I can't remember. And then this came uh, to Japan fan club members if they answered a questionnaire. I think this was also like a lottery kind of item. Not everyone got it. And it was OT7 set. There was also a second anniversary Beijing fan sign card. It's like a square and it has an actual signature on the back. I will never get that. Really expensive. This is from Kai Sarah Dome Wings Tour. It is a... Is it Army Booth? Mm, I can't remember. From Shibuya, the Christmas event that they had. And it's... JK's Christmas card. These are all in shiny sleeves as well. The only hollow ones are these two. There's also a Japan fan club fourth muster card. Still searching for it. Uh, this is airplane part two uh, renewal and then the muster renewals. Uh, these two are very pricey currently and for good reason. They are stunning. These are, yeah, as I said, these ones are the only two that are actually like hollow, hollow. So yeah. And then down here, if you're part of the Japan fan club and if you renewed something to do with a mobile phone thing, you got this card down here, which is also double-sided. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, this is a K-Town for you, bring out a benefit for HYH, and it came in like a longer accordion book, and this is JK's page out of it, and this is also from the Christmas event in Shibuya. So yeah, and it's got Rap Monster on the back, RM. So yeah, that's the first binder. And I need to have a drink now of tea, not alcohol. <laughs> okay, the next binder, this one mainly focuses on tour. So first off, we begin with this little bookmark down here. And then this was actually like a phone tab that you put in the back of your 
phone and I was going to cut it and put it in the binder but then I decided not to so it's just hanging out down here but let's begin this one and we begin with begins so this is uh, the two pcs that i have from bts begins it's a very rare set very hard to collect very expensive so i only have two of them so far then we begin on uh 2014 bts live trilogy episode two the red bullet tour this is the hello malaysia session postcard it was handed out to armies that attended it there was only 500 in the world of each member and it is very difficult to get them in good condition this is a printed signature on the back not an actual signature but yeah one of my favorite items as well and then we go into the pc so for this tour they had eight postcards to collect of each member into the concepts this is first japan showcase probably should come before all this because he does look a lot younger but i just have it here for some reason but there is three of these to collect and then it is bts first japan tour uh, from 2015 wake up open your eyes four cards to collect of each member and they are numbered like in a bigger set so you start at 25 to 28 for jk this is 2015 h1h on stage mini pc set and there were seven cards to collect of each member so just numbered one two three four five six seven and i would like to get some units to fill out the page but not for now not for now <laughs> and then they also had postcards for this as well so you have five of them to collect of each member and then i just have the unit of uh nam cook up the top they also had a sticker set, so we have JK sticker and the OT7 one, and then we move on to the 2016 uh, HYOH on stage epilogue live. This was the DVD benefit. They also had a postcard set for this that came in OT7 set. This is two of JKs and then the OT7 one on the back. For this, you could also collect seven mini PCs, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I just have the two units down here to fill out the page. If you want the only PC that has Macne line fully in it, this is the only one. This is the only PC that is just fully Macne line vibing together. Uh, next up is the Wings Tour. And for this, there were eight PCs per member. So yeah, numbered down and then just one of the units that featured JK. For each member, they had two units in this. So this is one of them and this is the other one. They had a second version of the PCs. This is the white back one. This is black back. And again, eight PCs plus the one unit and then the other unit here. Again, also had a sticker set. So the two stickers that have JK in it and then him with Jin as his unit. They had a paper frame set. So this is version one and version two, version one, version two, and then the stamp seal set, which came in OT7 as well. And I just have two of them just to fill out the page. Uh, Wings Tour Final Mini PCs, they had five units for each of the units. So yeah, this is the units that feature JK and then they had a ticket binder and you got OT7 set in that as well. This is the mini PCs. This is when they started to change to the eight pocket size mini PCs. So mini PCs are actually bigger than PCs, but we're just gonna ignore that. But you have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this one came for the Wings essay book, which each member had. And then you had this card in it. It wasn't random. It came with whichever member's book you got, but it is see-through and plastic. In each of the random PC packs of these PCs, randomly in them, there were these uh, hollow cards. So this is the Wings hollow card. Uh, yeah, so JK's there also kind of hard to track down took me a while because people overpriced them quite regularly i'll move this into the middle uh, then they had a wings face photo collection this is version one and there were seven for that i did keep the little numbers on it and the member sometimes you can find these because they're perforated down here so you can find them without this section they're still they're still the same item though but i just kept that on it so i knew which number was which this is version two, which actually had eight. So first one had seven, second one had eight. Then for the Love Yourself tour, there was a garland and a clear file, and then the eight mini PCs. For PCs, I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight for all of them. This little PC came in a luggage tag, and there were also unit stickers in the merch. These are the unit PCs for the Love Yourself tour. It has Namcook. 
Uh, for Love Yourself Tour Japan, they had a passport PC and then the unit stickers and the individual sticker for JK. And then these are the unit PCs here. For unit PCs, I go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is Love Yourself Japan set, definitely one of the cutest sets they have ever released. This is Love Yourself Speak Yourself Japan. And then this is actually Love Yourself Speak Yourself the final. It is not in the same tour as this, but it is in the same concept. So I'm going to skip over it slightly so that I can show you the Love Yourself Speak Yourself uh, Japan. Uh, these are the units. So there was only three that featured JK. And then this is actually from a coin purse. For Love Yourself, Speak Yourself, the final, they had the postcards. So there was four for each member. There is a, like a, a ring binder kind of notebook. And this is JK's page out of it. And then the two units that had him in it for the final as well. So this is still Love Yourself, Speak Yourself, the final. There's only two units with JK in it. This is from the ring. And then this is from a memorial tag. These PCs are smaller. So this is Love Yourself, Speak Yourself, the final, the eight PCs from that. So he's got like the longer hair in this, despite this all being in this concept for the same tour. Kind of weird. And then we go into Map the Soul tour. This is the one that was cancelled due to COVID. So there are eight PCs for that because they still released the merch because it was obviously all still made. And then there is the four units and then the two stickers. This one came with phone straps, and then this one came with the second version of a ring. Then we have their first online event. So Map of the Soul 1, O, N, dot, dot, E. I call it one. So you have the eight PCs for that, and then the four units. And then here, if you ordered the actual show online to live stream and watch, you had an option of buying the merch that came with it. So this one is the card ticket. This one came with a poster hollow frame set. It, they put it down as hollow, but it's actually only the back that is hollow. This one came with a backpack, and then this one came with a tumbler. And they also had postcards for that. These are quite thick. They moved to the thicker postcards. And then the unit and 027. For permission to dance, there are the eight PCs for that set. The four units, the stickers. So you have the square kind of sticker and the individual sticker. There was a special message card that you could also collect and then these two cards this one came with a fluffy jacket and then this one came with a backpack and then we have the postcards this is version two of permission to dance also known as kind of like the soul version so you have the four cards for this only four i have two of the units so they had one unit that had jk and this one's ot7 there was also a special card that you could get if you ordered four packs of these in like an actual like set and they did give you OT7 for this if you ordered the four packs it wasn't very randomized per se and then this came with a blanket the ivory blanket so you got the two cards in this that's the unit they also had a 3d photo for this and a message card that came in like a book so this is kind of like the army booth, lucky draw section of my binder, kind of haphazard. I might start moving this to be in with the actual tools that they correspond with. I'm not sure, but I'm going to skip over these for now and do it in order. So this is from Wings Tour Final, the unit, and this is also Wings Tour Final. These are just from Wings Tour. They are army booth cards. They're clear. I just put the shininess behind them. These are also clear cards and they are from the Love Yourself Tour. And then this one is from the Love Yourself Tour, but it is a lucky draw. And there's two versions of this. The second version, he's doing more like the cute pose and it's very expensive. There is definitely a very limited number of these. Going back, we go into permission to dance. If you ordered food from a McDonald's vendor or something there, I didn't actually go to the tour. You got this random and it is JK eating his nuggies. I might move that into collab, I'm not sure. And then down here, this is from the Las Vegas tour. So if you went to Area 51, the little exhibition thing there, you got you got this in an OT7 set. <laughs> and it looks like a round bean. <laughs> uh, here is some lucky drawers also. Well, there will be more stuff here, but this is from the Los Angeles uh, show if you ordered the album there you got this randomly out of their uh, lucky draw machine there is also a las vegas version of this it's exactly the same picture on the front but it does have a different back 
I don't think I'm going to collect it just because it's the same, but if I find it for a good price, maybe. Then they also have the PTD Las Vegas Tour Live Play PC, which we all thought would be <laughs> what the album Lucky Draw PC would be, but anyway. And then there was uh, the MGM Hotel PC. That's right, they got us buying hotel rooms to get packs of PCs. Yeah, it's come to that. And then uh, this was a, a makeup brand or something. It was like a clear stand thing and you got OT7 makeup brand started with L. I can't remember. Uh, so muster and fan meeting. So first muster, you got this. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just JK playing ping pong. Very cute. First fan meeting was this very whitewashed photo. There's also a, a PC for the first fan meeting, expensive, expensive. And then there was also a first uh, MD um, balloon photo, <laughs> photo with a balloon. Let's not discuss it, expensive as well. So this is the second fan meeting and it is undercover mission. So one, two, three, and four. There are units also of that. And then this is the second muster. This muster actually did not happen, but you have the six PCs and then I have the unit and one of the group cards, which is so adorable. Part of the merch of that was a photo album. And in the back of the photo album, there was this random card ticket in the back. And then they had a live photo set for that. And then this is just some stickers also from the merch. So I forgot to mention, this is actually 17520. Uh, it's literally the zip code of where the muster was located. So the muster that actually happened was this one, which is 22920, yeah. And then part of the merch was like this accordion photo set of this, and it came in like a box and it had a pin at the top, and yeah, OT7 accordion, he is taken out of that. So here are the PCs. There is actually seven PCs for this, and I was collecting the two units. I have this one. This one's very expensive because, you know, G Cook, so... Yeah, I have a little fake one in there from my friend McKinley. But yeah, there's the backs of them. Very pretty set. For the third muster, they had these player cards. There was actually only seven of these, which is those ones. These two are extras because I just ended up having extras and wanted to fill in the page. But the backs are very cute. Very cute. And then this is the photo set that they had for third muster. And yeah, there's five images. I'm just missing one. But this one's so cute as well. Then we have for the merch, they had a photo album and this is the card from the OT7 set from that. And they also had an army booth there. So there was two options of JK that you could get from that. And then this is a unit PC, that's so adorable. Uh, for third fair meeting, they had a postcard set. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then they also had a scrapbook for that. So this was JK's out of the OT7 set. Uh, Postcards as well, and on the back, I just have one of the group ones. For fourth muster, they had cloud cards, so there was actually only five of these. This one is an extra to fill on the page, and then the mini PCs for JK, so numbered one through to eight. For the unit cards, they did have four for this muster, so yeah, with Jin again, and then this is from a photo binder. Very cute, came in OT7. For fourth fan meeting, the units for this only had two that included JK, and then this was from their own binder as well. And they had cloud cards for this, so the the muster is like pink themed, and the fan meeting is like blue themed. And this one down here is an extra card. There is only five. This is the mini PCs for JK, one through to eight, and then they had a clear file. And on the back of this is the unit one. They also had a limited postcard of JK just chilling in his room. Really cute. And then we move into fifth muster. So this was given out somehow, something to do with 5G. I can't remember. It's probably one of my least favorite cards. I don't know why, I just don't like it. And then they had guest book PCs for this. There were also only five. This one down here is an extra, but yeah, these ones are very difficult to collect. Many, many fakes out there, be careful. And this is basically the only PC that I'm missing. The only mini PC. Cannot track it down because there are so many fakes of these cards. Be so careful collecting these. They are very like glossy uh, cards, the official ones. So many fakes out there. But this, yeah, is Fifth Muster mini PC set. And then these ones are from Fifth Muster as well. 
So there are three units of this as well. I don't have any of them, very difficult to collect. This one is unofficial, it's just a placeholder. Uh, they had a clipboard part of the merch. So yeah, JK's there doing his little newt newt. And then they had a wallet. So yeah, that's the unit from there. So cute, so small, love Jin's hair. This is from a photo like lanyard thing. And these are hollow PCs, came in a set of three. I'm just missing the Sin one, Sugar and Gin. Yeah, but again, people overprice these a lot nowadays. So yeah, be careful with them, G Cook. Next up, we move into the fifth fan meeting. So for this, they actually had a mood lamp. So that's JK's from that, many fakes around of that. And then these are little sets that you could get on site. So this spells out, see you again and goodbye. And JK's just happened to be A and B, which was pretty cool. And they have little messages on the back. Again, many fakes out there of them. Then we go into the fifth fair meeting, gorgeous PC set, numbered one through to eight. And then just some stickers on the back. And then this is the units. They had many, many units for this. So there were eight that included JK. And then part of the merch for that was uh, some stand-up pop-up frames. One of these is Japan, one of these is Korean. Can't remember which one's which, but yeah, his was with uh, Jimin again. So yeah, got both of them. And then there is the hollow postcards. And I know that this one doesn't have JK in it, but I'm not splitting these up. They are just gorgeous. And I love this page so much. Then we go into their online kind of muster that they did. So this is Bung Bung Con, uh, BBC. Uh, you got four cards for this. So the gold special card, two, three, and four. These ones are extra. Then they have the mini PCs numbered one through to eight and then the units had four again here is the merch that they had with it so these are actually from a photo card key ring you got two cards in this this one is from a phone charger and this one is from a really really ugly yellow wallet they had four images for the photo sets <sighs> and yeah numbered one through to four and then we go into suuju which is the latest fan meet muster 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 so you have numbered one through two eight. They included the message card actually in this set as number one. So yeah, they, they changed it up. And then you have the stickers. Uh, yeah, this one's like hollow at the top, it's like individual. This came with the pajama set. And this one came if you ordered like multiples of the PC packs in a pack. I think it was 10 packs you had to buy. It was a lot. And then down here, we have the units again. This is my bias line very happy uh, and then I've got the two stickers in here and then this is the merch that they had so they had a photo card binder stand which came with two PCs this is the unit with JK they had a glass set and I think this one was the glass set and then they had a bag and this one could be the bag they're very similar very similar and then they had uh, postcards yeah so the two postcards there one with individual JK and the unit one. So that is Tor and Musta. Yeah. Yeah. I think if I was ever to downsize, I'd probably downsize the units. Uh, just because it's it's getting a lot, a lot of stuff. So let's move on. We have the third binder, which is basically everything else except for collab. The last binder is just collab. So let's go. Seasons greetings. I'm sorry if I muck this up. I'm going to say a lot of years and a lot of dates. So we start at Seasons Greetings, ID cards, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. Yes. This is the PC from the diary from 2014. Exceptionally rare. He is in a top loader. And he is very precious. This is from 2016, 2017, 2018. The little... Uh, What's it called? The tab from 2018 as well. 2020, 2021? No, I stopped that up. 2020, 2022? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Uh, stickers from 2016. The lenticular from 2020. And then the stick. And then the stickers from 2021. No, so that must be from 2021. Yes. 
These are from 2018. Uh, this is just the group one in there as well. 2020 and 2021. This one was random. The rest came in OT7 sets. And then a couple of stickers at the back. This also came in OT7 from 2020. 2020 gave you a lot. Uh, the, <laughs> the unit from 2020. And then these are a couple of the pages from like the, the diary that they had for 2020 as well. And that's just the back. For 2021, they had this round kind of record poster thing. And then this is just a couple of the pages from the 2020. Oh no, that one's from 2019. <laughs> from the, the calendar that you were given. This random magnet, which I will be taking out after this binder flip through because it's so heavy and bulky. I'm scared that it's going to start damaging things. But then you also got an OT7 set of these postcards. And then this was a pre-order benefit from a Japanese store. Yeah, unit. See, it just flies out. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> uh, and then there was these tabloid posters. These are two JKs. Well, it's actually one poster, but this poster is actually, like I folded it the other way. Like it, it's, it's, yeah, the other side of the poster. For membership kit, first membership kit did not have anything that you could put in your binder. There was nothing like flat and paperish that you could put in. But for the second membership, they had this card and this postcard in an OT7 set. And there's just JK's unit on the back that kind of spells out arm because you can't really see the Y. But I love it so much. Uh, this one is from the third uh, term membership kit. So yeah, JK's individual card and my favorite group card of all time. They look so funny. This one is from fourth membership kit and it came in a set of three. This is just JK's unit again. And then this is from the fifth kit. So these are like little writing papers. This one is also from the fifth kit, a large kind of clear poster thing. And then this one is from sixth. If you pre-ordered the sixth one, you could get this set in an OT7 set. And then this is when they started to pop off. So for the seventh membership, you got this card. For the eighth membership, you got this card and this little ID. This card's very annoying because it's so long, it doesn't fit in like an eight pocket page. And I, worst hair, worst hairstyle. They started doing membership merch boxes. So this is from the third, the fifth, the sixth, and they do have a seventh one coming out. This one came with like an army room. This one came with like a luggage kind of pack. And then this one came with a music box. The seventh one comes with a clear bag. Yes. And then this one also came with the army room. This sticker. Go on to now. So now is kind of the thing that they used to do before they started doing all of the uh, summer packages and winter packages. So now one does have two pre-order unit PCs that do have G-Cook, but they're very expensive. And as I said, I think I might be starting to stop units just because they're very, they're very expensive to continue doing. But I do have the unit from the second one, which is this really cute one. And then my favorite card of JK of all time. This is it. This is the pre-order benefit for now too. He just looks so smiley and so gorgeous and I love it so much. And then we have uh, uh, Hope Cook down the bottom being so beautiful. This one will be going to my grave with me. I love it so much. The third now also had these little units. This one also has a gym in it. There is a lot of G Cook for units. And then this is just another one of the units that I managed to pick up along the way. And I thought, let's put it in there and be cute. Uh, for now too, they also had a random bookmark in there. So this is just JK's version of that. And on the back, it's just OT7. Just vibing on the boat. So cute. Summer winter packages. This was the little standee that you got from the 2018 one. And I just put it at the front. Uh, so 2017 in Saipan. This was the little book from that. I won't flip through them just because this video is already quite long. If you want to see inside of them, I know DM me on Instagram or something, but I think everyone's seen inside of them. And then we, oh no, that one's Taipan. Whoopsies. This one was from a weird named place. 2017, 2018. <laughs> uh, uh, 2019, 2020. This is the first time they started doing winter packages. Okay. This is from Summer Package 2014, even though you wouldn't believe it because they're in a suit. 
This is the stickers from Summer Package 2015. And then from 2015, there is also this postcard that you could get in the Japanese version of it. So this is the back of it. So beautiful. Really, really nice set to do OT7 for. Uh, for Winter Package 2020, these came in an accordion and these are just cut out of the accordion. Uh, Summer Package 2019, this was also in like a folding screen accordion and it's just been cut out of that. And then this is from Winter Package 2020 OT7 set. Uh, Summer Package 2018, there is JK's mini poster and then Summer Package 2019, JK's mini poster from that. Winter Package 2021, they gave us a lot of stuff for this. This was the photo that came in OT7 set. This came in an, an accordion set, so it's been cut out of that again. You got a random uh, six cut film photo strip thing. And then you also got a random PC and I might move this to be in the other smaller PCs after I do this flip through, but they've got, yeah, the backs of them, this photo shoot, superior. Then we go into seasonal. So seasonals, a new section I added recently just because there was a lot of like random merch coming out. Hybe and like Big Hit have really been like cashing in on the merch lately and releasing kind of stuff that hasn't been released before for BTS. So they did Vesta merch. So this is from 20 something. I don't know what year it's from, but it's from a year. And then this is the, uh, the D-Day calendar that they had for 2021 Vesta merch. They haven't actually released any Festa merch yet for 2022, so I don't know whether or not anything's going to happen with that. But Festa is literally why you're watching this, so uh, I, yeah, a bit weird. Maybe they're focusing on comeback, but I mean, anything to save money I'm fine with. I'm spending a fair amount on this comeback, oh my lord, because the album's so expensive. But yeah, so continuing on with the DJ calendar stuff. So you got these in like the little doors. They were all OT7 sets and then these little film strips. This is so adorable. And then this also came in an accordion and it is just JK's units. They then did Chuseok merch, which is a Korean festival. It's like a Harvest Moon festival. So this is the two postcards from the photo book in both versions. So you have day and night. This is definitely some of the best merch they've ever released. It is just absolutely beautiful. So the mini PCs numbered one through to eight. These two are selfies and they are like special cards, but you still get one in each pack. But yeah, gorgeous design, really, really pretty. And then they had two merch items that came with unit PCs. So this is from the ring. And then this one is from like a black shirt and he's doing his newt newt. <laughs> And then they did Christmas merch, Little Wishes Christmas merch. So they had a muffler and a sleep kit. I don't know which one is from which because they are very similar, but he's doing a newt newt in one of them. And then there was a cardigan. I think it was called cardigan or a jumper. It was like a checkered red cardigan jumper thing. And it came with an OT7 set. JK with his little camcorder. And then in the actual like special box where you pulled out all the stuff you got you got two pc sets in ot7 and these are two of jk's uh they had a sticker set part of the merch so they're down here i might stop collecting stickers and then there was a blanket and then gave you like a really flimsy postcard with the blanket and this has just been cut out of that and there's the backs they did a lot of merch for Little Wishes. So they also had this uh, full cut film photo. They had a photo book, which had these postcards in it again that you could take out. So there was three per member. They're just on the back. And then there was also a postcard set, which I have just put here. I'm not really happy with this setup, but I didn't want to put this in its own singular page. So that'll do for now. But yeah, they fit really, really nicely in these pages. Next up is concept slash exhibition. So they have butterfly dream photos. For JK individually, there are nine photos. It really changes per member. I think Jimin has the most cards to collect for this, but I only have two. These are really way down on my priority list just because they are really overpriced and they literally just printed out live photos. Uh, then they have the Onal exhibition. I think I pronounced that right. I'm not sure, but yeah, this is, this is the Korean name for it. So this is the bookmark that you could get from it. And then they had a clipboard for that as well. It came with OT7. 
they had the Korean version and the Japanese version of these postcards as well. So postcard set A and postcard set B for each uh, country version. Then they had a postcard set book. These are really thick. They are really thick and sturdy postcards. So yeah, they're, they're bulky. And then they had a ticket book where they ripped off this corner if you went to certain parts of the exhibition, I think. But it's such a gorgeous image. This is the Seven Phases postcard that you can purchase at the Hybe Insight Museum. It's by James Jean. So he drew each of the members a image that represented them. JK's is Cottontail. As you can see, there's little bunnies all through it because it is like his kind of character animal that is associated with him. Also part of the exhibition, they had three seasons of photos. So I just kind of mixed all the seasons of photos together just based on like era and kind of look. So they end here. And then this first one actually came in the exhibition concept book that they released. So this is called an unreleased photo and it was in like a pocket at the start of the book and you got OT7 for that. But yeah, these are really stunning images. But again, they are just live photos, just printed off photos. So yeah, still really pretty. Then we have the fact music book. So they gave postcard sets in that as well. And then these are just the ones that had JK in it. And this one was put in the unit kind of set, but it it's got JK glowing in it. So I'll put it in here. Uh, then the fact music book also has a second version and this is from postcard set A and postcard set B and then the rest of the postcards were actually group postcards but then there was also some uh, stuff that you could get from I'm going to pronounce this wrong Yishiru I'm saying it kind of with a Japanese accent instead of a Chinese accent I'm sorry <laughs> I can't remember how to say it in the right accent but this yeah it's a it's a Chinese kind of benefit if you ordered from them. So they have uh, a pre-order PC that came in OT7 and then they also have the random PC that is holographic. I would love to own it, but it's really overpriced. And then there is also a film strip that has four images of JK in it. Then the Hybe Insight Museum also has its own merch. So they have a postcard set of OT7 and a uh, PC set of OT7, really gorgeous images. If you go and visit the exhibition, you can also select to have a ticket made uh, when you go there and you can choose what you put on the back. So this is just the JK version of that. And the person put BTS John Jungkook 1997 and they went in 2021. Yeah, the 15th or the 10th. Mm -hmm. There was also a D-Festa event I think it's over now. It did it run for two months, I think, and part of the merch in that at the end was that there was three postcards that you could get per member. There was also a clear file. I decided not to collect the clear file for it. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then there is also a random ticket PC, which is on the way to me, but it's this image. So yeah, that'll go there as well. Similar to kind of like this page. And there's the back. It's got like a, a barcode. Yeah, DeFesta weird <laughs> a weird event kind of came out of nowhere uh, so film slash tv so for burn the stage uh in cinemas if you went and saw it in korea i'm not sure about japan but this was a ticket holder that you put like your ticket in it's plastic and then there was a postcard set so bring the soul docu series had this and then if you ordered the postcard set you got this random uh, lenticular in it. So this is JK's, can I show you the opposite side though? Yeah, there we go. Bring the soul, lenticular. Uh, Break the silence was around the time of COVID. So this is actually a mask holder, not a ticket holder. So yeah, you just put your mask in it. And then CGV, which is I think the main cinema company in Korea had this random uh, postcard as well for a little while. And it came in like a purple envelope and it's just down there, CGV. Uh, they had some merch as well for Break the Silence. So this came in an OT7 set that you ordered off of Weverse, hanging around up there. And then they had News Eve live and yeah, OT7 set you could purchase. And then In the Soup, which is like their, their little really relaxing show that they did after all the Bon Voyages during COVID like lockdown. So this was the season one postcard. And on the back of this, I just had the group cards because they're so adorable. Uh, all, like I kept all the OT7 sets for these as well. They're in my OT7 binder. 
because I can't let them go. OT7 for life, baby. And then, uh, yeah, JK's postcards from season two came in a postcard book. Very thick, very thick and sturdy. Miscellaneous section. So this is a section that is like official BTS goods, not collab, but they kind of don't have a spot to go in. So it's kind of merch released by them that is really random. As you can see, uh, I put shiny paper behind it. The shiny paper is from Daiso. As I said, I'll link everything down below. But let's begin in this section. So keeping within the soup, I did put the PCs here for it. No, these ones here for it. So this is the clear card for season one, clear card for season two. And then if you pre-ordered, like got an early bird, uh, got the yeah the thing on Weverse, you got this set in OT7. So he's hanging down there and he's not clear, but I wanted to keep him with the in the soup cards. For Festa, they do release a mood lamp, at least every year they used to do it. So this is from 2017, 2018, 2019 they actually skipped because they released the mood lamp that's associated with the muster, so the one that you saw before, and then this one's from 2020. So 2021 didn't have a PC with it, but they did have a mood lamp, and 2022, as I said, they haven't talked about any merch for it, so kind of strange. They then had uh, puzzles. So this is the puzzle that's in the theme of Map of the Soul 7. And then this is the puzzle that's in the theme of Dynamite. Yes. There is a special edition Webtoon Army Bomb PC. Haven't tracked it down yet. It's like in the cartoon of JK's character from the Save, Save Me uh, Webtoon series. I really would like to own that one day, but these are also army bomb PCs. So you have the version three PC and the special edition Map of the Soul 7 PC as well. So in the Hybe Museum, you could actually purchase these like Hybe pin microphone badges. So if you purchase JK's mic pin badge, which was the purple one, you could get one of these cards. So this is the three that you could collect. There was also a House of BTS uh, persona pop-up bingo cards. If you complete a certain amount of activities, you could get this in an OT7 set. And then they are also doing some artist made merch, which this is the PC from the mood lamp that JK released. Also from that was, where did I put it? This is the, this is the envelope from the mood lamp and the little booklet that you could get in the mood lamp as well. So there's him making it. There was also, another bit of merch that he made which was the zip up hoodie but the pc and the making log are still on the way to me so that'll come later and then i'll rearrange this in order to put that pc next to that one they also have uh, bts cubic paintings so this is in the theme of b dynamite and butter cubic paintings are like those diamond paintings where you put all the, the little gems on the bigger picture really really beautiful but i just collected the pcs from it and then they also had fortune boxes, which were Japanese release. So there were different tiers of the fortune boxes that you could get. So there was B tier, T tier, and S tier. And you got these PCs randomly in those boxes. I think you got two or three member cards in it, and maybe a group card. <laughs> and then this is from the Xinyan uh, collab. So maybe I could probably move that into collab. Uh, but yeah, the Xin Xinyan card. Uh, yeah, I don't know much detail about it, but OT7 set, it, and it sold out really quickly on, Re on Weverse. And then I am still trying to hunt down the Armypedia puzzle PC. Very difficult to find, very overpriced. Yeah. And then this is also from the House of BTS pop-up. It's a sticker. These are the Armypedia postcards. So we have one from each era. I won't name the eras, but they are there. If you want to know the eras, you can ask me. Yeah, so far they have 12 of them. I would love for them to continue this on because it is a nice way to remember like each of them for the members and what they look like for each era. Uh, I have Namjoon's set of this as well, so it would be really, really cool to get OT7 for them. But again, it's overpriced kind of now, so I regret not getting more stuff when I first start collecting. But then we move into the official film viewer. So if you ordered the actual film viewer, the bigger version, you got this in OT7 set, really gorgeous OT7 set, but I just have JK's. And then this is the say hello to army kind of like film. So it's got all of his little like images in it. Can you see them? 
And then on the back was his message. And then this one was from Bubble Talk. It's got all these little images in that as well. Look at him, so cute. And they haven't really released anything else for that. So I think that's gone on the back burner of their uh, releasing of merch stuff. Next up is the deco kit. I would also like to move this because it seems to be kind of like forgotten at the back of this binder and it is absolutely stunning. So in the photo book for that, this is JK's kind of mini poster that you could like get creative with. And then this is my favorite OT7 image from it. I uh, got an OT7 PC set in it. That is this card. And then you got the instant photo sets in OT7. So version one, version two. This was the random PC that you could get in it as well. And it has just like the little, there's like a plastic slip over the top. Yeah, but it's so, so gorgeous. Purple head, cool. Yeah, we don't have much purple haired stuff either. So it's just so nice to have these. These are just the stickers also from it. And then they had a sticker that I think he drew. And then these are the two post-it notes. And then they had a little like washi tape. So there's a bit of washi tape in there. These are also from the scrapbook kind of book that you could use to scrapbook. <laughs> and yeah, just the four pages that featured JK the most. These are just the fillers for more of that made by BTS artist collection, so the hoodie stuff. And then this is a really random, but it's yeah, a, a card that has JK's idol outfit on it. And then this was also from the deco kit, JK's stickers. I've already talked about that. Uh, Tiny Tan, never thought that I would collect Tiny Tan, but yeah, these are the four postcards they've released for it. I uh, just the original version, the Sweet Time one, the mic drop version, and the Dynamite version. Uh, there's a sticker from it, and then this giant one that I didn't realize that I was buying. I thought it was the small one, and yet it's like a pop-out kind of stand thing. And then this came in a key ring, I think. And there's the back of it. Not for sale. Well, hate to break it to you. <laughs> and that is the third binder. Uh -huh. We're on to the final one. I hope you're hanging in there. Oh, the fourth binder is all promotional slash collaboration. And this is actually my favorite thing to collect. I love hunting down these things and finding what else is new for it. And just, yeah, I, I find that not many people collect this and I like just having it all combined and seeing it all together. If I'm going to downsize though, this will be where I would start, probably with the bigger items. I will never let go of nine pocket size things because they're so compact and beautiful. And yeah, let's just begin and not talk about downsizing. Let's start uh, up here. I kind of put them in an order that makes sense to me. Like it kind of starts off with some makeup kind of <laughs> brand things. And then it goes into Samsung stuff, phone stuff, sports brands, and then <laughs> game cards i don't know so up here is a t money card t money cards are used to travel around korea but this one is actually from an event in china and it is the i saw you i saw you yeah it's the i saw you card so it's actually thick. it's like a travel card this is from the sesi magazine my favorite card that i have for promotional as well he's so cute this is from 2014 it is probably the first pc to be released out of this entire like binder. Yeah, very, very early on. Very beautiful OT7 set. Next up is the Lotte Duty Free kind of gift card that you could get. I don't know where you could get it from, but it's JK. And then uh, VT Cosmetics had a toothbrush released and this is the white and back, white and back? White and black version of these cards. So they're just like based on what color it is in the back. So this one's white back, this one's black back. Uh, corresponding to the toothbrush that you purchased. This is MTPR, which is a lens contact brand. Uh, this one's lenticular down the bottom. And then these two are see-through and this one's just another one. And it came with like different, different versions of the contacts that you purchased and like changed by how many you purchased. And yeah, it was all very confusing. They're pretty cheap to purchase if you want to collect them. And OT7 would be really nice. This was the this is one of my favorite cards as well. It was the first PC that I actually ever purchased of JK and I was scammed on it. <laughs> That's not the original one that I purchased. It never arrived. 
Um, and then we move into kind of electronic brands. So this is the Cloudberry card, uh, LG, uh, yeah, LG ThinQ PC. I'll skip over that one for now because I'll do these in order. But that one, um, yeah, <laughs> this is from the Samsung Galaxy earbuds, Samsung Galaxy phone, Samsung Galaxy limited PC or something, Samsung Galaxy Buds Live, Buds Live. This one was like a limited card. And these are more Samsung cards. This one's a Latin America one. I can't remember what that one is. And then this actually came in like the flip version of the phone. So you know how nowadays there's like phones that open and like the the screen bends. Yeah, that one's from that. And that's why it's an odd shape because you're meant to put it in the second half of that phone. But there's the backs of them, quite plain backs, but yeah. On this page, it is very random and not very aesthetic looking, but you have the cold brew sticker, which is an OT7 set and it is drawn. Uh, Chilsung? Chilsung, I think. Yeah, Chilsung. This one's like a credit card. This one's a lenticular card. Chilsung, which is like a, or like a soda brand, a fizzy drink brand. Uh, Lemona or Lemona clear card. And this is actually a packet in the back that has JK on it. These ones are from Smart. There is a different Smart thing later on, but this is like an electronic Smart thing. Yeah, version one and version two. Tokopedia is down here. This is the un holo version. There is a holo version as well. It's kind of hard to get. I think these are from Malaysia or Singapore. I can't remember. And then this one is also a holo one down here. I think I would say on the back of this actually. Indonesia, wow, <laughs> I was way off. Yeah, so Indonesia cards and there's the backs of them. So this is for the Indonesia K-pop awards of 2021. A little holo coup. This is the start of kind of the sports brand page and then random two down the bottom to fill it in. But there is a Puma PC. It is rare. It is an event PC. It's like in a Christmas kind of theme. Very expensive. Yeah. This is from the Fila pop-up shop. So they went from Puma to Fila. So this is Puma Project 7 pop-up shop that happened in Korea. If you purchased a certain amount, you got this uh, OT7 set and it came in like a stand. There was also a feeler, more feeler cards. This is the Korean version, I think. And then there was also a Japanese version, which is slightly lower quality. And this writing is not shiny in the Japanese version. It's just rainbow writing. And I will collect them because I am me. <laughs> if you purchased the feeler jumper that corresponded with the member, you got a card in that as well with a key ring. So that's JK's, one of my favorite cards as well. These two are unofficial fan-made cards because they're really, really expensive. Uh, this is from the Flow Music app and this one is from the Golden Time thing. <laughs> but they're, they're really, really cute and they're blue-haired. JK with a little clip in his hair, but really, really expensive, really hard to get. It was like if you, you had to listen to a certain amount of music in a Flow app in Korea and yeah, randomly given out and all that jazz. This page is quite empty but BTS is always releasing new collab stuff, so it'll probably be filled up kind of soon, but this is from the Body Friend uh, chair thingy, massage chair. It's a really funny PC. Yeah, it, it holds a special place in my heart. And then this is the Hyundai uh, event PC. Yeah, and there's the bass. Cool. This is eight pocket stuff. So Baskin Robbins card came in an OT7 set. My, some of my least favorite cards, which is the barbecue cards, season one, season two. This is from the art toy. So if you ordered just JK's art toy, you got his card. And I'll explain the rest of the art toy stuff later on. Uh, this is SK Telecom, little bookmark. Uh, McDonald's. So if you ordered McDonald's merch off of Weverse, you got a random card and that's JK's. And I just had the two source packets that you could get in Australia. I've washed them, they're clean, they're in a sleeve, they don't smell, it's okay. <laughs> and there's the backs. Uh, as I said, I'm a, I'm a little bit weird. If I can get some cheap JK stuff, I normally try to jump on it, but these are uh, yeah, the Xylitol gum packaging, the three different flavors, and then this one, which is like in a bigger a bigger box. And I will eventually cut this box down, but I haven't, I haven't done it yet, because I only just got this. I just shoved it in there for, for this uh, 
for this talk through. There is also a xylitol letter PC, so JK is in the letter L, and then there is a like a selfie PC, and he's kind of in this exact same outfit but looking the other way, and a group card, and these are like given out by Lotto. There is like some things that show that there is a Japanese and a Korean version of these, but I'm not too sure now. I'm not too sure. Then we have Yuno, and I made this like a double page spread because there were so many cards. But yeah, there's his Yuno cards. He's the skip and he's the number six. Phew. There's also bigger versions of the unit card, the unit cards, bigger version of the Yuno cards, which take up about half the sleeve. And they do have the different images of JK in it. And I would really like to get it, but purchasing it is actually kind of expensive uh, to send to Australia. So I've just kind of been putting it off. Uh, if you're in America, it's very easy for you to get off of Amazon. And then this is the Do You Know Do You Know Me, which also recently came out. And I don't think my unboxing's up of this yet, but this is what I pulled. I pulled the regular version of JK's cards, and I don't have his special one in there. Yeah. Anyway, so these are his cards from that. I actually got a double of this card, and then there was a regular group card in there. So he's just hanging out down there. You could get different tiers of special cards within it so you, different levels of ot7 packs uh, so the regular pack had the yellow border there is a silver pack which has like a mottled kind of like this silver border there is a gold pack which has more of a kind of dotty gold pattern in the border and then there is a platinum pack which has the background also removed from behind the image of jk and it is like a shiny hollow card 50% chance of pulling silver, 30% chance of pulling gold, and 1% chance of pulling platinum. Whether or not I actually collect all of them, don't know, but I've just realized that I don't even have the normal version in here. So, damn, I don't know where that is. I think it's in my OT7 binder. Oh well. <laughs> uh, tea money cards. So, again, travel cards. I've got these ones out so far. Yeah, we know the names of them, don't we? This one's like a mirror, the B. A lenticular card for Mephistoph 7, uh, a kombucha packet because <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> and then uh, Lamona had a bigger postcard as well, so this came in this they call it a photo card, but it, it's a postcard. It came in that little sleeve and it's see through. So, yes, if they release another T Money card, I'll move that card out. Very controversial, this is uh, Coca Cola, so they do have. A Coca-Cola packaging, Korean version, Coca-Cola packaging for English version. Uh, this does say something about dope. So each of the members ones relates to one of the uh, songs that they release. I think it says You Are Dope. And then this is Share a Coke with JK, which I actually just made because I just wanted to. Uh, these, as far as I know, are unofficial. No one can find any source of where they were announced to be handed out, how people got them. They suddenly started popping up on different uh, like Japan sites for purchase and I was just like oh people are making unofficial ones but it looks like all of them are unofficial but you do have these two versions. I'm just very glad that I didn't spend a lot of money on them. I got them before they started blowing up in price and now they're really dirt cheap because there's no actual source to say where they're from and then unit postcard which also seems to be unofficial but I'm going to keep it because they're cute. <laughs> uh, Cloud had a big poster with all the members. This is just cut out of the bigger poster because there's actually kind of no real binder merch to put in for Cloud and JK look buff <laughs> in, that, in that photo shoot. So I wanted something to put in of that. Uh, this is a Lamona like fan. And then behind this is actually the smash postcard kind of proof that they won the postcard, which comes on later. I put it in here because it was a uh, one pocket sleeve. So for Smart BCS, not to be confused with the Smart BCS, this is a uniform brand. They have different unit cards. The three up here, I did it going down in a number of units. He looks so angry. And then they had these little cards as well. So yeah, got four units and two not units. Uh, this is a calendar. There is three different calendars for Smart. Going forward, I probably won't collect them anymore. I might cut off this top bit though, but there is JK's ones for the calendar and his units in the back. Again, G Cook, we love it. We love to see it. And then more smart stuff. So a little pink coup at the top, a postcard down the bottom, and then the Tay Cook units. Uh, before 
kind of two years ago, there was not much Tay Cook stuff. There was like just this unit card. And then they were, suddenly went, yes, give us more Tay Cook stuff. And they did, which is very exciting. This is SK Telecom. So we have a data coupon card and a data card. <laughs> this one's really cool because it's like a school ID kind of thing. This is a really nice like ad and shoot and they looked amazing in the ad for it. I uh, guess yeah, so the standing postcard and then this is another postcard that I, I actually don't know how you've got these. If someone would like to enlighten me, I would love to learn. And then there is also a scratch card, which I haven't been able to track down. It's like a longer card and it's like a bit that you can scratch off on it. Uh, going into electronics, so LG G7 Thin Q postcard. And then this is the LG Q7 postcard. And then just the group one on the back because that, that card doesn't have anything on the back. And I wanted OC7. They had a little pamphlet since it's just JK's pages out of the pamphlet. And then this is from... Um, LG Style. Yeah, LG Style. Yeah, it says above it. <laughs> yeah, it's an LG Style postcard. Also kind of difficult to get, but I, yeah, OT7, beautiful. If you pre-ordered the Samsung Galaxy Buds, you got this uh, lenticular postcard in OT7 as well. They're really thick and kind of, kind of ugly. Like if you go that way, it's literally just got the logo and yeah. They're definitely, they're definitely weird. Uh, there's also an LG standee, which is like a paper thing, docker mold, which was given out. Not given out, it was in stores. <sighs> uh, on the way to me is the, is the most recent Lotte Duty Free calendar card. Three cards, I think this has, yeah. And this is a very recent item, which is the Samsung Galaxy S22 uh, in-store little mini poster that was given out. OT7, also very flimsy. The sleeve doesn't fit it. I did shove it in here just to film the binder flip through because I haven't actually updated the binder with that. So that might be a video later down the track. <laughs> and then uh, Lotte Duty Free. These are pamphlets that feature JK. And then this is the art toy. So going back to my discussion on the art toy, if you ordered the full OT7 set pre-order, you got this set of uh, stickers. So yeah, this was if you got the entire set. There was also a postcard that you got if you got the entire set. I haven't tracked down the postcard yet, but it is legit, it is legit in the exact same image as this. So it's yeah, the same image as that PC, but bigger. Not sure whether or not this is official, but it is in here. That's just a postcard version of the standee that you would get if you ordered the perfume. And then Hyundai in-store postcard. So yeah, got this if you went in-store. It's the Hyundai store. Uh, Mediheal, these came in OT7 sets. So the individual ones of JK are in here. There is also unit ones, but I didn't want to bulk up the binder too much. And then we have more Mediheal. So yeah, this one came with little capsule kind of masks and OT7 sets. And this one is VT Cosmetics. This was one of the most earliest ones with him playing with the little foundation thing, pow powder. <laughs> and then this is actually a really cheap card. Do not overspend on this card. It, yeah, VT Cosmetics, it's a see-through card. With the backs, I put the group ones on the back because, again, adorable. Um, more VT. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful shoot for VT. And then these ones came with the perfume in OT7 sets. These are everywhere. Yeah, that's a printed signature, <laughs> not actually signed. Then we go into sports brand stuff. Again, they did Puma before they did Fila. So the Puma postcard, another Puma postcard. This is from the Court Star shoes. Yeah, OT7. I don't have the heart to rip this up. Why, why would I want to separate the OT7 image at the back? But yeah, that's, that's the Court Star thing. How do I have it like that? <laughs> I had it like that so you can see what shoes it was for and then on the back you can see him as part of the unit and the shoes again. And then I don't know how he got this card but this is also Puma. There is a version of this that you can get and it's bigger and it has his signature on this side but I don't have any desire to collect that. I don't collect anything signed because obviously like this is already enough. <laughs> maybe one day I'll get something signed, maybe, but then it has yeah, Hobie on the back. This is one of the best photo shoots, in my opinion, that they have ever done. This is the fall 2020 collection. Yeah. 
yeah, they look just hella stunning for it. So the two postcards for that. And then this is the postcard from the 2021 one. Yeah, Project 7 Back to Nature. And it came in an accordion. And then this is just a freebie. This isn't in, um, official. And then this also isn't official, but I think it might have been something. I don't know. There is also a BTS uh, Puma Court Star postcard. And it's like JK with flowers. And it's a double-sided thing. Never seen it for sale. There was an official calendar. So JK's pages out of that. There was four. There was actually another calendar, but I haven't put it in here yet. Wow, that looks really cool in this light. Uh, this is from a magazine which was called The Four... Oh, I can't remember the name of the magazine. Damn, that's the first thing that I can't name. But there is a Four Seasons magazine. This is Holly Appear. Uh, this magazine came with in uh, unit shots yeah, of each member, but I don't think JK has one with Yoongi, so there's a fair amount of these to collect, but... Again, overpriced recently. This is MTPR postcard, so it's a hollow postcard, came in OT7, very stunning. And then a smash postcard that came with that uh, letter that was at the front, and this is one of the newest additions to my collection, Purple Coup. Okay, the last section of this is magazine stuff, similar how this like introduced us to magazine. Uh, so we start with the original D-Icon magazine. <laughs> You got this set of OT7 PCs. They're really odd sized PCs. They're front and back as well, like double sided. And then this uh, postcard set. So also given OT7 and with one of the most stunning unit cards ever. This is the backs of them. A lot of people don't like these cards mostly because like if you flip it over, he's upside down. <laughs> but they are a really stunning photo shoot. They then did a re-release of it quite recently, so behind BTS, and that, uh, they had a lenticular postcard. Yeah, it's got like three or four images in it. So that was, oh, <laughs> that was from that, as well as this card here, which was from behind BTS, so it's a double-sided card. Yeah. Um, I'll skip over this for now. Oh no, I'll talk about it. This is from <laughs> the most recent DRCon thing that they did. Uh, the magazine release that they did but there was an event on and it was like a BTS world event and this was what you got if you went into the store there was actually three different ones of JK but I completely missed the boat for him and didn't realize that they were a thing but I got this one and yeah he's so shiny so recently D Icon released the 101 PC so this is JK set from it so he's got this one this one this one no uh yeah these ones <laughs> And then these six as well. And then these are just fillers down the bottom that I put there because one day they may be filled by something. It's got, yeah, all of the little messages on the back. And I put that one in the middle because I feel like it fit with the theme, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Really, really nice cards. Uh, then we go into, yeah, the D-Icon magazine. This, this was the most recent magazine that they released. So if you ordered the OT7 magazine, you got this PC in it. If you ordered JK's individual magazine, you got these five. Yes, this one is so adorable. And then if you ordered, if you pre-ordered on K-Town for you, you got this benefit. And then if you pre-ordered from... Yizhiru, which is the thing that I still pronounce wrong, you got this benefit, which is very rare and expensive. And then they also released a Japanese version of it later, which came with this card, which is also, these are like plasticky, plasticky feeling, but these two are paper. And it is double-sided, double-sided cool. Uh, Konbuncha, if you pre-ordered from them, you got this bromide set. Bromide is just the type of paper. And then HMV Japan had this live photo. <laughs> and then this is also from Kombucha, which is like a little weird size clear file. This also became just a general pre-order benefit as well. It ended up not just being HM HMV. They also had an accordion uh, set in the actual magazine. So this is actually it cut up. I do have two versions of this accordion. I have a cut up one that's like on in my actual like collection in my room just because this one's cut to fit in the binder because it was a really really weird size but I like it I like it a lot and this is really nice really nice images and then I'll keep it here so this is the lenticular K 
calendar card at the top and then JK's calendar cards. And it's got it's such a cute photo shoot, Bubble Coo. One of the best photo shoots he's ever had, him just playing with bubbles and being soft and cute. And then just like completely like gorgeous <laughs> uh, from their calendar. My calendar actually came with a defect, so I had no qualms about taking this calendar apart. It had an up down, upside down Jimin in it and it was missing Yoongi. So yeah, I took the calendar apart because it just, I couldn't use the calendar. But yeah, JK's images and then his unit for it. And then that's the uh, lenticular cover. Whoa. Uh, originally when you ordered the magazine in Japan, you got an actual translation booklet with it. So is this the last thing? This is the last thing. So this is the translation booklet that you could get. I do have a couple of things off to the side that I will also show that don't fit in the binder, but I used to have it in the binder, but yeah. A little translation booklet, and then they release the Japanese version of the magazine. And then at the end here is just RM stuff, which is my other collection happening. So yeah, that's the end of my binders. <sighs> Are we still alive? My throat isn't. <sighs> I think the last thing that I'm going to show in this is my clear files. I did used to have these in my binders, but they don't fit too well. So we have the feeler clear file. Another feeler. Another feeler. This is a BTS The Best clear file. It was a pre-order benefit from Universal Music Store. This is BTS Body Friend clear file. Uh, House of BTS Pop-Up clear file. The Wings Tour Clear File, which is a lenticular one. A red Bullet Tour. And finally, the Shibuya, Shibuya Japanese Christmas uh, Clear File. Yeah, and that is all, I believe. So let's end on a nice looking coup and I'll wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you did enjoy. As I said, if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll try to get back to you. Collecting JK definitely has become very much a struggle and I am rethinking how I want to collect going forward, especially like with his prices continuing to go up and just the member pricing. So yeah, I, I will be definitely having a major change in my collection coming up. But I did want to film this flip through with it looking like this before I did anything to it. So I hope that you did enjoy watching this. Please have a wonderful day. Keep collecting how you want to collect. You definitely don't have to have this much in your collection. To be honest, I think the smaller collections are actually more beautiful because you, you really, really treasure each item that you have in it. And that's probably the thing that I'm struggling the most in this collection. I don't love every item. I'm like, why would I collect every item? if I don't love it. So yeah, my, my mindset is kind of changing. I hope that it doesn't make anyone feel discouraged with collecting. Collecting is so much fun. Uh, it brings me so much joy and yeah, it's definitely a journey. The hunt is a lot of fun and you meet so many amazing people with collecting. The people that I've met in the past two and a half years, I'm so many people I can call lifelong friends now, I'm literally going to meet two of them in person in, in five days. So yeah, I'm I'm so excited. Um, happy Festa. Happy Festa, everybody. Stay in OT7. You nice. Keep going. Subscribe if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.